Racing and I'm here today to talk about our expanding line of shock dials. Intercomp has been at the forefront of the weighing and measurement industry worldwide for over 40 years and a leader in the shock dial market with over 15 years of product development. The first product that we'll talk about is our 3 horsepower variable speed unit. We offer this unit as both a standard speed with capabilities of 19 inches a second and a high speed with capabilities of 55 inches a second for testing on extremely high shaft velocities. Here at Intercomp, we have recently added our 8 horsepower model to our line of shock dials. Our 8 horsepower unit is perfect for any high capacity application with the same accuracy and easy operation as our 3 horsepower model. This unit is capable of 40 inches a second maximum speed and has a 25,000 pound load cell. Alright, we're going to hop into the live data screen here. And you're going to see that our force velocity position temp bars are up here. And I'm just going to take a look at my shock real quick. I'm going to run it at 10 inches a second, and this is going to just give me some live data. Just give me some force numbers, some peak force numbers. Compression, you're seeing 55. Rebound, you're seeing 30. It just gives me a real, a real quick glimpse of what the shock looks like right after I have built it. Now, in the case where I have an adjustable, I'm going to start clicking on it, and once again, um, as it's running, I can grab, I can grab some peak numbers on it and it just gives me an idea of where my build's at. Alright, I'm going to click on new shock test. Give my shock a test name. If you want to fill in any comments down here, you can put anything in about the shock you'd like. Now I have a choice up here under test types to pick either a CVP or a PVP. We're going to go through the CVP first. I'm going to put in 10 inches a second and I have a timed warm up run of 10 seconds. And as you can see, this is going to lay out my data in a force versus absolute velocity test. I'm going to click on new, new shock test, name it, click on PVP, and use the timed warm up cycle. You're going to notice the shock is going to be run at a number of different velocities where we're going to pick up data on it at those velocities so we can look at a differentiation. I'm going to do a 10 inch CVP here. This time I'm going to click on the seal drag option. That's a nice, nice option to check the seal drag on a shock after you've done some sort of modifying to it or rebuilding. I have my test loaded over here in the loaded test bank and I'm just going to take a peek at uh, different interpretations of the graph. I can look at a force versus displacement. I can look at a force versus absolute velocity right off of the same screen. I've got a couple of different tests loaded over here in the data bank and I'm just going to compare one run to the other. Click on one, click on the other. And that's just going to show me some differentiation whether I've made adjustments to the shock or whether I'm just trying to check if a shock is still good or not. With over 15 years of research and development, Intercomp has the shock dial to meet your needs. If you have any questions or want further information, you can reach us via phone, email, or visit our website at intercompracing.com.